We are seeing a lot of people losing their jobs with the California's new $20 minimum wage. Now, I'm cool with people making more money, especially these days, living is just super expensive. Rent is through the roof, inflation is high, interest rates are super duper high. If you try to get a car, loan, anything, it's gonna cost you a pretty penny. So make as much money as possible at the same time. A lot of these states don't really seem to understand that businesses are the ones providing these jobs. And when you hike up minimum wages, it's too fast. Many companies and restaurants are gonna close. Guys, California's minimum wage went from $15.50 to $20 for fast food, all in the span of less than 12 months. It is going up so quickly that many of the fast food joints are just simply closing down, workers are fired, and in fact, a lot of workers are not happy at all. And let's just see what happens right now. McDonald's CEO says that California's minimum wage hike is making the inflation in the labor market very bad. And McDonald's also says that consumers, a lot of them don't necessarily want to buy burgers from McDonald's because it's so hyper expensive. And basically says that inflation is getting out of control. And usually when minimum wage is hiked up in California, it's done by 50 cents to a dollar. But this time they suddenly wanted to do it by four to five dollars. Took effect on April 1st. Required all restaurants that have at least 60 locations nationwide have to pay $20 per hour per employee. And this is getting hyper expensive for guys like McDonald's. Now, McDonald's, I'm sure that they are trying to give as competitive pay as possible, but they're just not making any more money anymore. In fact, other brands like Burger King, Hart House, Chipotle, Chick-fil-A have all raised prices, but that still has not made them as profitable as before. And now we're going to be seeing a lot of pizza drivers losing their job as well. Now, several eateries, especially pizza chains, have begun to cut jobs and efforts to save money. You know, there's a pizza driver in Ontario, California, told a newspaper that he received a notice from Pizza Hut franchises informing him that his last day of work would be February. He says he's been being a pizza worker for about a decade, done deliveries for all that time, made some pretty good money, but now he's being let off. In fact, basically, California doesn't have any more pizza drivers. You could just blame it on the $20 fast food minimum wage. In fact, many pizza drivers don't want this $20 minimum wage. Many pizza drivers drivers said that they were raking in like sometimes two, $300 a night, especially when it's busy just from the tips. And now they're not happy because now they're lost and losing their jobs. Everyone knows what's going to happen. Papa John's pizza employee showing paperwork that was just handed and forced to sign. Everyone will be losing hours and shows Papa John's will be firing all drivers. It's a disaster, especially for Americans who need jobs. Some people out there are going to get $20 an hour and they're going to work like a full seven to nine hours. They're going to be making a lot of money. Very, very good income. But that's rare, guys. Okay, either one, you're laid off. Two, you're forced to go to another sector, which basically pays a regular minimum wage of 15 to 16 bucks. Or three, you get your hours cut so much that you're not really making that much money compared to before. It's only a very small portion of individuals who are getting long hours and the $20 minimum wage. That is a rarity that you see in California. Not everyone is getting that. And I guess peach drivers don't exist. You know, California's minimum wage law is shrinking the subway chain to the smallest size in decades in California. Hundreds of subways are closing. Now, subways generally are not the best franchise to open anyway. If you want to open a good franchise, highly suggest the pizza ones. They're not too expensive compared to McDonald's and Taco Bell, but they pack a punch and they make a lot of money. Subways are one of the cheapest franchises, but they also have very, very thin profit margins and it's very hard to make money with Subways because let's be real, not a lot of people like Subway sandwiches. So now with minimum wage hike to $20, many of these Subways are closing down by the dozen. And not to mention 10,000 fast food jobs lost within just one week of signing. And after April 1st, it's Armageddon. You know, a lot of these jobs are just down the hole. 10,000 fast food jobs gone. And we don't exactly know how many jobs are laid off this month in May. Some people say another 10 to 15,000 workers are probably laid off, but we don't really know yet until the data comes in. All we really know is in April, 10,000 jobs are gone. And there's about 500 to 700,000 fast food jobs in California. Now, 10,000 jobs may not seem much, but it's really about the aftermath in the next year or two, as more and more kiosks and automation AI rolls in for these restaurants, more workers will be laid off. And then we also have Mod Pizza, also closes five California locations as $20 an hour minimum wage takes an effect. 
and Mod Pizza is one of several of the small and mid-sized chains in California closing down. Not to mention the mom and pop stores are struggling and they have truly cut down on employees. And especially when you're looking at the fast food restaurant business, profit margins are really bad and expenses, well, labor takes up like 33 to 50% sometimes. So labor is sometimes more expensive than the cargo itself, like the vegetables, the meat, etc. So let's see what happens next. You know, I'm down for people make more money. At the same time, a lot of these businesses are just simply closing down.